Hi, this is Jeff with Black Hills Ammunition. Today I'd like to talk about a new 6.5 Creedmoor round that we've developed. Uh, this round uses a bullet designed by Lehigh Defense. Uh, we term it the dual performance. It's a monolithic copper bullet. It's designed to do two things. That's the term dual performance. It's designed to open up immediately uh, on impact, form a large temporary cavity, and then at that point, the pedals shear off and fragment if the velocity is high enough. And it will do this. One of the advantages of this bullet is that it will perform even at significant, at, at longer distances in, than you would normally be hunting with. Uh, that guarantees that you've got a bullet that's going to work good up close and a bullet that's going to work good way down range. Up close, you don't have to worry about the bullet blowing up and failing to penetrate deeply. At long range, you don't have to worry about the bullet failing to open up at all and punching through. This bullet will do both of those things. Uh, the, the way it does this, the nose of this bullet is machined. The whole bullet's monolithic copper. The bullet's machined so that uh, that's one of the advantages that you've got with monolithic, monolithic copper. You can accomplish things that are very hard to accomplish with a conventional lead cord bullet. You can make the bullet do some pretty incredible things. Here's an example. This shot, uh, this gel shot was shot at 12 feet. The velocity was still pretty high. It was 2,800 feet per second. Your downrange velocity hunting deer would be lower than that normally, but say you get a close up shot. You don't want that bullet to blow up uh, and create a shallow wound and have the deer run off. Because if there's one thing we all hate, it's having to track wounded deer. You don't want that to happen because of bullet failure. In this case, the bullet opens up. This isn't to scale. This is actually, this this block is an eight inch diameter. So we, we measured it at 7.25 plus. Uh, that's how we measure these. It was within a quarter inch of the top. It ripped the bottom along this whole edge here so that you can see. So we recorded it as seven and a quarter plus. Basically, you've got over an eight inch temporary cavity diameter. Lots, lots of damage here. But, and within this cavity about here, the front part of the bullet fractured and created basically shrapnel, little pieces of, of copper that cut through that stressed tissue and creating further cutting damage. And then the shank of the bullet continued on and penetrated out to 27 inches. That's something that's hard to get to happen with a conventional bullet, to retain that kind of a weight at that kind of velocity that will result in that kind of penetration. The nice thing about that kind of penetration is you, it pretty much guarantees you on things like mule deer, you're gonna have an exit. I like exits when I'm, when I'm hunting deer and, and antelope, uh, particularly big mule deer. Uh, you want holes in, holes out. Uh, it makes it much easier to, to track, say if the deer stumbled off on the backside of a hill and uh, you wanna make sure that you, you, you find him, you know right where you hit him, you go over, there's going to be a substantial wound track, the, the blood, blood trail that you can follow this deer with. So dual performance, this is a 130 grain bullet, 2,800 feet per second at the, at the muzzle. The bullet's designed to perform well. It's a good hunting bullet. Uh, there's a lot of good bullets in 6.5 Creedmoor, but we felt that there was a need for a, an extremely good hunting bullet in this caliber. This probably isn't the bullet you'd use for 1,200 yard shooting, but then you're not shooting deer at 1,200 yards. This bullet is gonna perform well at any reasonable distance for hunting deer. This has been Jeff at Black Hills Ammo. After this video, if you'll look at the comments section, you'll be able to see this, this picture, and you'll also be able to see the recovered bullet fragments so that you can see the remaining size of the shank that gave you this great performance, plus the, the little metal particles. Uh, I shot a deer this year with a similar bullet in 308. Shot it at 364 yards and basically totally devastated the lungs, totally deflated. Uh, there was, it, they didn't look like the normal lungs. That when you gut a deer, you find a hole in it. These lungs were just destroyed. The deer didn't go anywhere. Uh, you'll get that same performance uh, it, with this caliber, with this bullet. Uh, give it a try. I think you'll like it. This has been Jeff at Black Hills Ammunition.